Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another little video on the Blue ZX. Um, there's no more content at the moment on the engine. I have however found out where I can source some parts from. Um, I email emailed the company and I'm waiting for a response back and a price on all the bits for the engine but it's now a case of waiting for the money to be able to buy those bits and obviously whether I can afford it or not at the moment. So we'll have to play that one by ear. But anyway, um, we'll get cracking with today's video and um, hope you enjoy. So in this video, as you can see, we're looking through the back of the car with the interior. And um, the idea behind this is we're gonna go from what you can see here right now with all the interior in to what you can see how it is now so we're going to go from the transformation of having all the interior in to having it look like this so uh, if you follow through the video you'll see how to remove all this and how i take it all out well um start that video now then so before i get started guys i'd just like to walk you through why we're taking this interior out this is down to the bar um, it's sunk in that corner the seat is completely given up so that's the driver's seat passenger seat has got the clip on the seat belt buckle broken yes that could be the seat could be removed because the seat is still okay have the buckle replaced and then be put back but considering this seat here is broken I'm gonna take both them seats out um, and we will um, also be taking the back out because it doesn't lock into place anyway and the floor bit out so without further ado i'm going to try and do this all live and hope that the video isn't too long and too boring and we'll um get started so i think the first part we'll pull out is parcel shelf nice and easy out the way gone put that there out the way one second this door's just playing up i'll get this open so i've managed to get the door open as you can see on this seat as well, it's broken there, but that's fine. Normally we would undo this clip and push it that way and it would undo the clips at the back. But this way round, I'm literally just going to pull it out and that would normally go into those clips just there and they go into that there. And you can see if I move that, the mechanism is still working, but for some reason it just won't grab properly. The carpet here would normally be pulled up and clipped onto the back but as in the past of my ownership I have replaced the rear axle and I did have to have all this carpet out to get to the bolts which are underneath the carpet for the rear axle so this is just going to lift out and pull this out of the way now get this out this will just come straight out like so I have just pushed the front drivers and passenger seat right forward to expose these bolts we'll go on to them in a moment now I'll show you that one because you see that clip just there with what looks to be a 13 mil bolt you would normally undo that bolt you'd, you'd drop the seat forward undo that bolt and that would then come off there and there's another 13 mil bolt just here as well that would come off and then it, that's how you would undo the seat because you'd undo them and that's how it done fixed and you would literally just drop all the seat belts out the way chuck them back there for now lift that up out the way like so it would rock forward you would then have to go down in the gap undo the bolts and then that would come out but as you can see it is completely snapped off and the brackets are gone the um, seat is torn to shreds now the seat in i have got to replace this with has got a little bit of a tear but nowhere near as bad as this so we'll get this out quickly out the way this is completely non-related to the interior because it's a base box, under seat base box, but this will be getting removed as well. So if I just uh, pull those wires off there and then turn this over, if I undo those with a Phillips screwdriver, I can then unplug these plugs, get this out the way, and I'll just leave the wires there for now and we'll pull them out a little bit later because I've got the earth on there as well. But anyway, back to the interior. Uh, what On the back of the front, passenger seat and the back of the front driver's seat you've got a t40 torx there a t40 torx there um with the t40 bit excuse my rusty tools but that is a t40 uh on the uh 3 ratchet i'll undo them in a second but just to show you 
I've done the driver's side ones already and they come out just like that with the um, washer on them and that seat now is when I take off you can see it moving there I will push that back again and we'll reveal the ones at the front in a little while but I'll first of all I'll take these out and take the base box out so as you can see I've got the driver's seat out got my little helper there look she's never too far away from me but I've got the rear bolts out from the uh, passenger seat I've got the front bolts I've also got the base box out as well I'll show you the pa I'll show you the driver's seat actually underneath the driver's seat where it's collapsed you can see that it's all foam's all coming off and it's all like flaking and you can see down there where it's all going thingy and you can also see that as well on the floor where the foam's been thingy now there is an electrical connector that's for the um, seat belt tensioner for if there's an accident that will lock the seat belt into place and also I've also noticed the joys of leaving a car sitting around for a few months is like yeah these carpets need a really good clean um, so what we do now is you pull these caps off two oh, there three and final one four they can I'll pop them in there with the screws for now they'll be all right in there um, and like I said we've now just literally got the front two bolts one just there I've got to do this a little bit differently and one just hide in there but it is literally hiding so tucked up under there that I can't get the ratchet in with my long um, T40. So I'm having to use, if I can show you, I'm having to use the small T40 on there just like that. And a 10mm spanner because it fits just nice and snugly over there to undo them. But the other side, I'm, I'm having to use a longer extension on the ratchet. I can then use the the long uh, T40 bar, pop that into there, and I will be able to just get enough purchase on that to undo that. So what I'll do is I'll undo them now, and I will bring you back when they're undone. So I've literally got all these uh, undone now. As you can see, same issue on this side. The foam's starting to crumble. Um, remove all these caps again. One, two, three, and four. Oh, I'm rich. Found myself 10p and a penny. Yeah, this car's definitely filthy. It used to be a works vehicle, so um, I just chucked them in there. So now, as far as disconnecting this lead is concerned, I will need the little flathead. Oh, it's not going to focus, but you can see there's a little flathead. And what I'm doing is I'm just literally going to pop off from there, he says. Pop. Pop that clip as well. Pop that. So that now frees that up and then literally pull that tab apart like so and then just inside because I don't want to I, want, I might still need this bracket yet um, just inside there you can see that black bit on the side of the orange if I just pop a flathead screwdriver up there like so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you this on camera as I just pop that up there like so that should then be able to pull off like that and that literally just slides off of there with that little hole to hook onto that little pin that peg there so that is now completely disconnected um, so I've just literally got the sub wiring to come out at some point when I get round to it. But that's pretty much it for now on this one. So I think what I'm going to do now as a final piece to this video is just remove all the sorry looking car mats. 
that carpet down there don't look too bad to be fair so that car mat is a bit and I don't even know why I've, I don't want a punto car mat anymore so remove all these sorry looking car mats I have had a sneaky feel underneath here um, and it's a little bit concerning so I will be removing all the carpet but that won't be in this video so I've had a sneaky peek under there and it's a little bit concerning I'm a little bit nervous as to what's going on down there but I'm not going to let on as to what's going on with that at the moment because I'm thinking I may do the removal of the carpet completely as an Easter Sunday or a um, Easter Monday sort of special like Easter Sunday or Easter Monday video that's what I mean so get these ones out chuck them down there and I'm also thinking we'll take this out and we will pull all this carpet out because it'll just pull out from underneath here like so nicely like so this will pull out from all the trim I know this because I've had all this out before so I'll carry on put I'll carry on pulling that out all the way round and I'll bring you in in a second. So I've got all that pulled out. We'll get that out now, just like so. We'll get the uh, underlay side of it lifted as well. This might be a little bit stuck in places because of how long it's been there. But I'm trying to lift it in such a way that it doesn't tear or anything. Right, so that's that. And oh, how lovely. First of all, the floor pan doesn't look too bad. A little bit grotty, a little bit grimy, not a problem. And then um, the worrying thought, hiding gremlins underneath a car, hey? Oh no, that looks fun. Oops. That is not a good sign. Fair enough, I don't think it's structural, but now I've spotted it, I'm not happy. Look, see? Just push my finger straight through, no real effort whatsoever. Yeah. Let's just say when I had a sneaky peek under there, I didn't like what the idea of what I saw. It's confirmed that there's a little bit back here as well. Oh crap, I've just given away what I saw. Oh well. But yeah, that's all pushing through. And I don't know how to weld either, so yeah. How lovely. Just more work to be done. Right, so um, I think I might take that uh, handbrake centre console bit out and call it a day on this video. So to remove the handbrake centre console, we literally just Phillips screwdriver in there to undo that. So uh, just like so, Phillips screwdriver just in there to undo that one, and that's lifted like that. It's attached at the back as well, so we literally just remove the ashtray, like so. 10mm socket, if I turn it the right way, straight on there. straight off and then if we slide that back that's got a nice square bit at the front which will literally just slot straight over and then that's that so nothing serious under there oh well so um i think in the next video what we'll be doing is we will be pulling the rest of this carpet out and um seeing what horror stories if anything lies underneath here and that side as well i have a sneaking suspicion that we've got the dreaded r word again underneath here but i'm not 100 percent certain because yeah anyway that's for the next video and i'm going to leave that here guys 
So thank you guys for um, following me through the journey of my little blue ZX and what I'm doing to it. As you'll see in this video, I have found a little bit of rust on the rear archers. Um, yet to find out whether there's any more, but I'm sure there will be, but hopefully it's not too drastic. And um, I will have to get someone in to possibly weld that up, but I'm not sure who I'm going to call at the moment, but probably no one at the moment, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, at the time of recording, I've got 30 subscribers. Thank you very much, guys. That is absolutely lovely. I know I'm not a big channel, but it all helps. Um, and um, if you like my content, give us a thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe and share. And also, if you want to follow my sneak peeks throughout the day, I'm on Instagram as well, under the name of uh, the ZX guy, same name as my channel. And... Um, Hope you're all staying safe, guys. Hope you have a good Easter Sunday tomorrow. And, um, yeah, stay safe, stay well, and bye for now. Thank you.